Hi, my name is Nicholas Fraser. I'm a researcher at Xilinx Research Labs, and today I'll be talking about logic nets, our recent work on co-designing neural networks and circuits for extreme throughput applications. Just a note, most of the work I'm discussing today is from our recent publication at FPL, along with my colleagues Yaman Umaroglu, Michaela Blot, and our previous intern Yash Akuri, who is now at Intel Labs. Firstly, I'd like to highlight some extreme throughput applications. As most of you are probably aware, deep neural networks or DNNs are very popular for tasks like image classification and object detection. But their use cases extend far beyond computer vision. In a wide array of domains ranging from large scale high energy physics experiments like those at CERN to line rate packet inspection for intrusion detection in next generation networks Researchers are looking to replace manual algorithmic implementations with DNNs. Certain applications, like the ones mentioned here, have to go through gigabits to terabits of data every second and make decisions based on it within microseconds, so we call them extreme throughput applications. The question that motivates our work is, how do we utilize DNNs in such extreme throughput applications and make sure they are running fast enough? To meet this challenge, we propose logic nets. Logic nets is a co-design approach where we first define a specialized DNN topology for the task at hand. The topology is subject to certain constraints, which we'll cover in a moment. Once we've decided on the topology, we train it with standard training techniques. And when we achieve the desired accuracy, we can directly convert the trained neural network into an FPGA circuit. This FPGA circuit is a fully parallelized implementation of the trained DNN, and owing to the special constraints we put on the topology, it has low logic depth and is able to achieve high clock rates and classification performance to meet the needs of extreme throughput applications. The foundation of our approach rests on the equivalence of quantized neurons and truth tables. Here is a six LUT capable of implementing any function with six bit inputs and one bit output. LUTs like this are one of the fundamental building blocks in FPGAs. So we asked ourselves, could we somehow expose what this LUT is capable of to a machine learning framework? Our solution was to use artificial neurons with quantized inputs and outputs to do this. If we have an artificial neuron in PyTorch with a total input of six bits and an output of one bit, we can always convert it into a single six LUT by enumerating each possible input and observing the output to construct the truth table. Note that the artificial neuron can have floating point weights and complicated functions such as batch norm inside it. All that matters is the total number of input and output bits. We can extend this concept to larger neurons and truth tables, but the implementation cost is exponential and quickly becomes prohibitive. For instance, a single neuron with four three-bit inputs and a three-bit output would require a much larger truth table built out of a few thousand six LUTs for the FPGA implementation. We want to avoid an explosion in the number of LUTs, and to achieve this in logic nets, we co design the DNN topology and impose constraints on the fan in. We use two key methods to design topologies with low fan in. Let's examine how this works with a three hidden layer neural network topology. The first method is to ensure that the network is highly sparse, such that each neuron connects to only gamma previous neurons. The second is to use low bit activation quantization, such that each neuron produces a beta bit activation. For logic nets topology design, we constrain beta times gamma to be less than or equal to 15 to keep the LUT cost reasonable. To implement logic nets, we've built a prototype flow in PyTorch where we start by defining the DNN topology and training it on the target data set. Afterwards, we generate truth tables for each neuron, which we express in Verilog, and synthesize the resulting net lists in Vivado. Now, let's look at a hardware evaluation of logic nets and compare to published state of the art. Here, we focused on the two tasks with extreme throughput requirements that we discussed in the beginning, one from high energy physics and one from network security. I'll briefly cover the properties of each task in the next slides. As I mentioned earlier, 
we restricted our design space exploration to smaller networks with low fan in to avoid high resource costs and to allow us to run a large number of experiments. Lastly, the results I'll be presenting here are generated with the logic nets flow described in the previous slide. First, by defining the topology and training in PyTorch, followed by Verilog generation and Vivado out of context synthesis targeting a VU9P. The first set of results I'm going to share with you is on the JET substructure classification dataset, which was also used in the original HLS for ML paper by Duarte et al. This is a 16 input, 5 output classification problem from the high energy physics domain, where the goal is to help filter the interesting particle collision data at the CERN LHC triggers. And here is a subset of results LogicNet achieves on this task, with increasingly larger designs as we go down the rows. Let me start by highlighting the top row here, which is able to achieve a non-trivial classification accuracy of almost 68% using only 214 LUTs. This very compact resource footprint is due to a fan in of six, which translates directly into a single LUT for each neuron. The Fmax here is reported by Vivado as over 1.5 gigahertz, which isn't feasible in practice. So we take the global clock network frequency limit instead. Since these are fully parallelized, fully pipeline designs, we're able to achieve over 600 million inferences per second with this design. Continuing our exploration, as we make the network larger by using more layers and a fan in of 12, we're able to achieve an accuracy of almost 72% using about 38,000 LUTs and reaching a performance of over 400 million inferences per second with a latency of 13 nanoseconds. Comparing this with the FPGA result by Duarte et al, we see that we compare quite favorably on the performance and the FPGA resources front. Namely, this design is able to achieve roughly two times higher throughput four times lower latency, using no DSPs and less than half the LUTs of the Duarte et al design, which uses 16-bit arithmetic. At the moment, this comes at a cost of a 3.2% decrease in accuracy for logic nets, but this may be acceptable to domain experts or could be compensated by using a larger network. Now, let's look at the logic net results on network intrusion detection, which are trained on the UNSW NB15 dataset by Mustafa et al. The task here takes the shape of a 49 input, one output classification problem where we are looking at features derived from network packets in order to classify the packet as either malicious or benign. You can see some highlights from LogicNet designs on the table to the upper right, where we see a trend similar to the JET substructure classification results. In particular, by using smaller networks with as few as two layers and neurons with a fan in of 14, we can offer high throughput intrusion detection as fast as the global clock network will allow, offering close to 85% accuracy using only 3.5 thousand LUTs. Such logic nets could be suitable for small footprint intrusion detection on FPGA based smart NICs or similar. And further down the table, by moving to bigger networks and larger neuron fan in, we we're able to achieve higher accuracy at the cost of more resources. Comparing the results in the highlighted row versus the results by Murovich et al, who deployed binarized neural networks for intrusion detection on the same dataset, logic nets are able to offer improvements across the board. Specifically, we're able to achieve roughly nine times higher throughput with two times lower latency and using three times fewer LUTs with a 1% increase in accuracy. In conclusion, Logic Nets is a co-design method to deploy neural networks as part of extreme throughput applications. By leveraging the equivalence of quantized neurons and truth tables and exploiting sparsity combined with few bit activation quantization to keep a compact circuit size, we are able to demonstrate hundreds of millions of inferences per second on two simple datasets. Due to the cross stack nature of Logic Nets, there are many exciting directions for future work here. On the machine learning side, we would like to improve our understanding of how to design highly sparse and quantized topologies that retain high accuracy. Whereas on the toolflow and EDA side, it would be great to have better synthesis techniques to scale to neurons with larger fan in. And of course, on the application side, to discover and demonstrate more extreme through applications that can leverage logic nets. Last but not least, I'm happy to announce that we are planning to release logic nets as open source as part of the Fin ecosystem. So stay tuned for more updates if you're interested.